earlier, Tom Brady on Howard Stern today. Uh, and it became a national story. I mean, this interview lasted well over an hour. I hate I hate that I don't have Sirius and I didn't hear it. Uh, good luck for, or good news for everybody is that uh, all of these NFL insider guys had really nothing going on. So they all were tuned in and they were all tweeting about it. Uh, Mike Garofalo, uh, Ian Rappaport, they were all listening and tweeting. Uh, they were talking, um, let's see, Tom Brady telling Howard Stern the story behind him no longer going to OTAs the past few years. Uh, that all had to do with his marriage. Giselle wanted him to start carrying more of the load at home. Uh, he said, I had to check myself. Uh, she said she wasn't satisfied with her marriage. It, all of that kind of stuff was uh, very revealing. Uh, very, He's very much a real person. Yeah, I've it was. Seen it was fascinating with him to know that he is a real dude. He's not just some pretty boy prima donna that lives in a shell and and is you know made in a lab. Yeah. Now you're you're right about that. Him. He was saying, and this is exactly what you thought was going on. Uh, him leaving the Pats to sign with the Bucks. What he he told Stern uh, that free agency was a nice process. He said it felt good to be. And then he trailed off and talked about it being the first time he'd been recruited since high school. It sounded like the last word of the sentence would have been wanted. Yeah. So it, that's exactly what you said. It's told you. It, it's told exactly you. what and he, who showed him that? Who taught him that? Uh, uh, who taught Peyton him that? Manning. Oh, Peyton Manning. Yeah. No, you. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. At Stern asked Brady if he would uh, if he would let his kids play football, and he said absolutely. Yeah, there's something about contact sports that teaches you about respect, discipline that get uh, that you don't get in non-contact sports. Um, that's, this was incredibly interesting. I, I can't wait for it to go up online. I, I wonder, is there a place I can go to find it? Because I it, saw it'll people be on YouTube. tweeting about it, but I don't have Sirius, and I don't really even know where to find it. That's, I think it's, Sirius it's is actually... One of the things that I hate it when Howard Stern went to Sirius is he went for an exclusive deal. And, and made a massive, like a fortune. God, well, yeah, so and money. it sucks now because in the world of podcasting, if he just put his show out on podcast form every day, then he would make a, an obscene amount of money on advertising. I agreed. He'd make, I, I think he absurd. could probably make more money, but I'm not really sure what he's making. I know this Rogan's podcast made $30 million last year. Uh, Stern, I don't know that Howard's making 30 mil. Stern got a $50 million or no, it, it was a 500 million over 10 years. Okay. And so he doesn't even have to work every day. No, you're right. Then no, that's more than Joe, and that was that yeah. was starting a long time ago. So yeah, yeah it's a it's a lot of money. He, he he makes an absolute killing. I know it just makes it hard to find his content yeah. or, or to have to be able to. Do a- 